Hello guys, welcome to Brina Creations. In today's video, I would like to show you how I store Nigerian foodstuffs in the freezer. So my name is Oge and I'm reaching from Abuja, Nigeria. I make videos on healthy living, great recipes and how to achieve all of this on a budget. So I have my Nigerian foodstuffs. I buy in bulk. If you've, if you've seen any of my videos, you know I buy a lot of stuff at once in bulk and the only way I can successfully use them up when I need to because I don't get to use all at the same time is to store them. So I have my obono, I have a goosey which is grounded and then I have my bonga fish, I have um, ogirisi and I have my achi, I have uh, my spunked kwanla that have been deboned, I have here bonga fish, I also have here kokoyam powder and a couple more other dried stuff tilapia fish and asa fish asa fish was already in the freezer i had them all in the freezer because i didn't have time so i just brought them all out so i could organize them all these things here are going to be enough for us for the next two to three months the powdered achi may last a little longer but that's how we do it here so that at any time we find time to do batch cooking or do some emergency food or emergency cooking we have our ingredients at our bake and coals. I freeze my vegetables from time to time. I also have a mini backyard garden that I can get vegetables whenever I need them. So that's the reason I'm sharing with you guys. So you know, a couple of things don't freeze well, like iru, um, oba, that is, a, I've forgotten the name, some beans like that. Okay, so ordinarily it should be able to freeze well. But because in Nigeria, uh, power fluctuations happen, and sometimes they maybe not be power supply for about two days because some the power supply is not consistent in nigeria you may have some things that are in the freezer and then it, because there's no power it thaws and then freezes again and thaws and freezes again this is my dried archi and i'm removing everything here to so that i can put everything back i have my iru i have my powdered kokoyam i also have my uba in this one i want to remove everything so that i can get a bigger container and do, and put it all that's my offer um and then i have my achi and then my ogirisi this is inside a foil pack and uh, more euro and then that's it guys and then this is my um Ope all in one go so the reason for this is so that i can have everything in one place whenever i need to cook a job frozen if you don't freeze your oven or if you don't store it well when it gets bad it starts to taste soapy i have my smoke pan like here which i've also deboned and packed in individual plastic bags so that when i need i just take the quantity i need and because if it's frozen it will be harder to bring out the bones so i have my uba in this also i forgot that before so this is what i basically do remember i'm here to show you how to manage your home on the budget and this is one of the things i do by getting organized storing well and don't forget that you're not allowed to forget anything in the freezer that is practically why we have to organize right so when you organize and put everything in one place it's difficult for you to forget that you have something and you keep buying remember if you forget you have some things you can keep buying and buying and then eventually those ones you have even though they're in the freezer could get freezer bonds and then um, they become useless to you so guys you can feel free to organize i'm just here trying to organize as much as i can to make sure that they fit i make use of some 10 liter beans or 25 liters bean um, beans i mean this plastic big plastic bucket to organize my freezer in another video i'll be showing you guys how i organize my freezer to make it easy for me to find things uh, especially when you don't have time to go scrambling in the freezer all the time so this is one way i try to keep my things well organized so this is me basically trying to figure out how to organize it how best it's gonna fit eventually i may end up changing these two beans and make using a 25 liter bean instead because that's gonna be bigger um i didn't use this because i just bought bigger um, quantity of fish remember that the plastics you are allowed to use 
and only plastics that are safe for freezer and i'll be showing you a more detailed video on what kinds of plastics to use i'll be seeing you guys in another video don't forget to subscribe like drop your comments below and share with your friends and loved ones i'll see you next time bye